Welcome back to another Excel template. This is the United States Geographic State heat map Excel template and this is the second version of this template. The first version has been extremely popular and um, this is the next version with some upgrades. Customers of the first version will receive the second version file absolutely free. I'll be sending that file out in an email shortly. And now let's talk about this Excel template and its features. This is a very, very simple Excel template. So you can type in the title of your map, um, whatever it could be. And let me just type this in here. And now you'll see that it appears at the top of your image here. And you can enter a note or a comment about the map. So in this case, I've entered basically the colors, what they mean, uh, which one is the lower value, which one is the highest value. It's basically the legend. But you can also type in, you know, the story that the data is telling you or what you want to communicate to your audience and you can type it in here it'll appear on the bottom of the image here and the next is the data itself so this is state level data and there are 50 states listed here and make sure that you enter your data in the data column and your state name or the abbreviation those are the keys so you have to enter the state name here uh, and the abbreviation here and both are not necessary so only one of the two will be sufficient so for example if i don't have any of the state names entered here let me just delete it the image would still work because the abbreviation is still present so similarly if i don't have the abbreviation but then the state name is present it'll still work so make sure that one of these two columns are correctly populated and the next thing is the data so i am going to type in a really large number here for alabama and you will see that alabama now turned green instantly because dark green indicates a large value so now i'm going to undo so this is um, how you can just type the data in for each state but most of the, most of the times you may actually have the data in another data set so now i have another excel file open with the data set and in this case i'm going to take in these two columns of information which is nothing but um, abbreviation of the state and the land area so I'm going to go back to our data and I'm just going to paste values and now the template will update so pretty much that's how easy it is for you to copy and paste your own data I'm going to undo so that we can keep the old data and the map will revert back to the old colors now data label data label is nothing but what do you want to display on the map itself for each data point so in order for the data label to appear on the map you have to choose check this box here and now you see all zeros because your data label does not have any data yet so what you could do let, let's let's talk about two scenarios one is actually you want the data itself to appear there so in that option i'm going to just choose equals choose the next cell hit enter that's it now what happens is all the rows will now take the data from the data column so Alaska 710 now the data label is also 710 so with one step now you enable the data labels to be shown and the data label will always be the same value as in data and you will see on the map itself that the large numbers are shown either in thousands with a K symbol or with millions in with an M symbol if you enter a really large value. Now let's say I don't want to see 25.1 K for Texas. I want to see something where I can communicate something to my audience where I want to type in something like hi. Then I just type that in and now it'll appear. So watch out you can't write uh, really long sentences or anything like that if it's just a few letters um, definitely you can do it especially for places like Texas where there's a lot of space you can definitely write something like this but if you're going into some of these um, smaller states you will be somewhat limited by what you can enter but numbers should be fine text just watch out for how big the text you want to type in um, if I want to come back I'm going to do control D this will basically reset it to my old value. The next set of features, so we don't want to show data label, just check the box, they disappear. Data ranges. By default, we have it as no. If I choose it to be yes, let's see what happens. Now, colors have changed. So what is happening here is by default, the gradient color scale of dark red to dark green is 
implemented. Now, when you choose use data ranges, the template actually will use the information you provide in this table to color the map. So for example here, any state with a value of 0 to 1000 will actually be in red and that is what we have in these and I'm gonna turn the data labels on so that you can see anything up to a thousand you'll actually see in red the state will be in red color anything from 1001 to 2500 will be gray there you have it. New Mexico Nebraska their values are between 1001 and 2500 and if you want to change any of this just type in your own values here and then you can choose a color so let's choose for example um, this bucket Nevada is 2.7 K that is to 2700 so if I change this bucket to 3001 you will see that Nevada now goes in the gray bucket gray bucket represents all the states with value from 1001 to 3000 since Nevada has 2700 now it's colored in gray and now let's say I don't want the gray color I want to do change the color to orange and now you will see the color change to orange so that is how easy it is to customize the map according to your own ranges of data and your own color combinations that you're choosing so the colors there are seven different colors that you can choose from and you can obviously also have the same color multiple times if you want um, but essentially this is how um, you can customize the map using this. If you want to go back to the default gradient color scale, just choose no and it'll go, take you back to the default dark red to dark green color scale. So that's how easy it is to build a map as you need and then what you do is right click, copy the image and you can paste it anywhere else, any other application or um, for example you could go to PowerPoint and then right click paste it as a picture and now you can resize it format it however you would like on the um, slide itself so that it can be presented along with any story that you want to say about this data that you're representing the other option is you can just go to file hit print now the by default it is set for printing the entire map only but if for example you want to also show the data just come here and choose ignore print area now you'll see the data and the map and everything so you can print the entire sheet and you can also go to file export to PDF and create PDF uh, and then you know share it with your team members or colleagues by email if there are any questions about this template please leave me a comment and I'll definitely get back to you Thank you very much for watching the video.